energy bar contains 28 grams of carbohydrates. If the energy bar was his only fuel, how far could a 68 kilogram person walk at five kilometers per hour? Okay, so the, um, an energy bar, we have 28 grams of carbs. And that's all we have to work with. So if that's his only fuel, let's figure out how much energy that's gonna be. So when we go to the chapter, there's a table in there. I forget which section it is, but in there it tells us that for one gram of carbs, there are 17 kilojoules worth of energy, or uh, 17,000 joules. I'm going to put it in joules just so it's in standard. You could probably leave it in kilojoules if you want, but I think it's a little easier to put it into joules. That way you don't have to question, you know, do I need to convert anything later or whatever. So whenever we do that, the grams of carbohydrates both cancel and we'll be left with joules or how much energy we have. So we have 28 times 17,000 is 476 thousand joules. So he has this much energy to work with whenever he's walking and they want to know how far he can go with that. So again we go into the chapter and they tell us that for a 68 kilogram person walking at five kilometers per hour it costs him or he has to use 380 watts to do that and I like to rewrite it because it helps me see what's going on a little better as 380 joules for every second so now you might see where we're going with this we know that we have 476,000 joules to work with and he's going to walk for at five kilometers per hour, which costs him 380 joules for every second. So when we do that, the joules are gonna cancel and we'll be able to know how long he's able to walk for. But we don't want to know the time, we wanna know um, how far he can go. So let's, um, first off, take this into hours because we know from the problem that he has five kilometers per hour, so, or that he's walking at five kilometers per hour, and we're going to use this in just a minute. So let's put it into hours. That way all of our units will match up and they'll cancel properly. So one second we know is um, in one hour there are 3600 seconds. Okay, so now we have figured out, or we've gone from how much energy he has from this 28 grams of carbs that we started out with to how long he can go for on that. And when we do that, that is 0 0.348 hours. All right, so now we're gonna use this 3.84 hours, 0 0.348 hours, and now we're gonna use that five kilometers per hour to cancel out the hours. So we know that he's going at five kilometers for every one hour he does it, and he's walking for 34.8% um, of an hour. So we do this, now our hours cancel out, and we're left with a distance. And when we plug this in, that gives us 1.74 kilometers, but we don't want kilometers mastering physics, they ask for meters. And so a lot, a lot of people would put in the 1.74 and get it wrong and be upset. <laughs> I would have done the same thing that, hey, you know, I got the right answer, why is it telling me it's wrong? It's just because of the units is all. And so we know in one kilometer, uh, kilometer, there are a thousand meters. And so we get 1740 meters that he can walk from 28 grams of carbs to start out with.